Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Peugeot 3008 plug-in hybrid 4 GT. Um, this is the first plug-in hybrid uh, that Peugeot make on 3008 and it's a very very interesting car. If you want to see the test drive with the car check out on my channel. I did uh, the video there. I was really impressive with what this car can do on the road and I think you will be as well so check it out that video guys if you want to see the test drive uh, on my channel also by the way I'm right here at Peugeot Auto Gallicer in Switzerland if you are from Switzerland or around you can come to check out the cars they have great price and also a lot of discounts and you will see that this car have a big discount as well and I'm really impressed uh, with what this car can offer and also the price it's gorgeous now uh, let's review it interior exterior I try to show you every single detail as always if you are new here subscribe to my channel check out my other videos you will love it and yeah what can I say just let's do it and make the, the review Alright guys, so uh, let's try before we start the review. I want to show you the information about the car, I want to give you the price and all that stuff because sometimes I just forget to show you, so I will show you at the beginning. So um, here we have the new Peugeot 3008 1.6 uh, petrol engine plug-in hybrid 4 GT. Why it's hybrid 4? Because Peugeot have another um, another hybrid uh, 300, 3008, but it's only hybrid. That means it's not plug-in hybrid. So just keep in mind and it's also not four-wheel drive. This car it's four-wheel drive. Uh, what that means? That means that in the front it has a petrol engine 1.6 liter another electric motor in the front and then it has another electric motor in the back you can see probably on the screen also this layout I want to try I want to try to show you when we go inside the car uh, how this is working and the, the, the electric engine on the back it has 100 horsepower 110 horsepower I think something like that and then the electric motor in the front 100 horsepower around there and then the, the petrol engine also 100 um, yeah together all those electric motors and also the petrol motor it makes around 300 horsepower you can see it also right here the car together all three have 300 horsepower um, yeah, 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 yeah here it's also the colors and all that information we have an automatic gear shifter with eight gear shifters uh, with eight speeds sorry and here it is this is my favorite I think you already know it from Peugeot uh, they use it for a while now and then we have uh, the hybrid in hybrid mode driving only 39 co2 grams great emission if you drive you can drive with the car only in electric mode uh, around 59 kilometers this is the range of the battery also uh, you can drive the maximum speed 135 uh, km per hour the maximum speed the basis price of this car it's 39,200 with all those options uh, maybe you want to read it or probably yeah I, you can pause the video and read it out those are the extras that come on this car um, and the price those those prices will add up uh, and will be this is the price the final price of the car but if you are in Switzerland you come out at Auto Gallicer or you are around Switzerland you have 10% um, discount this is an amazing discount and the price will be 56,500 francs around the same in dollar in euro maybe 3,000 less anyway somewhere there you can check out on the internet and um, yeah great price 
for what it offers. Also, you can pause the video and read all that stuff. The car is very heavy, 2,000 kilograms, but it's a big car. It's normal to be heavy and also free engines. It's, it's kind of a lot. Also, the consumption and all that stuff, you already see it. I will leave this down here for a while and then we will start reviewing the car. And we will start, of course, as always, with the exterior of the car. So, um, yeah. What can I say? Beautiful car from the exterior. In my opinion, it has a nice, nice design. Uh, beautiful lines, uh, a lot of chrome insertion around the edges of the windows, also down there and also up on the roof. So yeah, it's not bad in terms of design. The car looks super beautiful. Also, the rims fit very well. The front is very similar with the normal version and also pretty nice a lot of chrome design insertion on the front grille on the bumper around the, the fog lamps now here on the side uh, you can see the same story and in the back going in the back guys right here in the back we have the same beautiful back and I like the way they integrate those chrome designs right here on the roof uh, with the roof spoiler looks super beautiful some glossy glossy plastic uh, come down here and the roof spoiler have also those lines they look super beautiful on the roof you can add some extra storage there so you have those uh, supports there so to add some extra storage and also on the roof you have this glass roof beautiful glass roof that you can open it up I will show you when we go inside but until then the roof spoiler in the back it's gorgeous here we have the brake LED light in the middle just to keep in mind we have a wiper in the back the car come with tinted windows in the back and that looks gorgeous on the uh, on the car really beautiful and also I like very much the way they integrate here uh, the chrome design down and up I think they did a great job with the design also here we have a big window so you should have a great visibility from the interior we will go there in the second as well some glossy plastic here on the B on the C pillar and also here on the B pillar some glossy plastic make the car look super nice so yeah here on the right side we have the tank for the gas I will show you I have to open it from the interior and here on the on the left side we have the um, charging port to charge the battery guys so here it is the battery and the charging port fast charging um, and also you can uh, schedule and lock the charging port so keep in mind that the charging port for the battery is in the left side and on the right side is the tank for the petrol engine so pretty awesome uh, now in the back I'm not finished right here I like also the way they go with this glossy plastic right here uh, on this uh, area between the the tail lights we have this Peugeot logo beautiful and then we have the free 3008 logo on the left side and on the right side guys we have this hybrid 4 so when you see those high breed for you know it's a plug-in hybrid so just keep in mind uh, also the same story if you didn't see on my channel check it out I have the full review with the new Peugeot 508 uh, hybrid so plug-in hybrid so check it out also uh, here we have the camera and LED lights to the number plate just keep in mind again uh, another cool stuff to the car and also the camera work fabulous going a little bit down to the grill and you can see there the same story with the chrome insertion here we have the fog lamps right here on the bumper we have six parking sensors in the back you can see one second one here third fourth third, and so on six parking sensors in the back other than that the bumper it's made by plastic and it's very good because when you scratch it you can change it very easily and here we have some fake exhaust pipes uh, yeah and the real one are under the car and in the both sides the same story so we have on the both sides those uh, fake exhaust pipes so that's something to keep in mind again other than that the back of the car have a very beautiful design I don't know I like the design in the back it's it's pretty awesome 
it's pretty great also uh, if we go on the side here going to the rims look at the rims I think the rims fit perfectly with the car I don't know this is just my opinion I think they always uh, did a great job with the rims uh, the people from Peugeot we have Michelin tires primacy free uh, great tires as well and the rims look gorgeous also guys those are 19 inch rims in case you're wondering uh, how big they are and I think they look they look pretty good on the car they fit just just fine I don't know I just I just like the way they, they did it now guys I want to show you another cool stuff it's that um, the car come with um, electric folding mirror so every time you lock and unlock the car you will see that the mirrors will, will uh, fold in fold out keyless entrance in the car here all you have to do put the finger here you lock the car put your hands here and you unlock the car super simple and and the sound and the quality of the doors it's also great you can hear the sound for yourself so I think it's pretty good also if I'm not wrong you can open the trunk from the key you can see right now all you have to do is just press this button and the trunk will open and also you can close it up again from the key so that's a cool feature just keep in mind that you are able to do that with the car so I will leave the key right here I don't need it anymore and I want to talk a little bit let's go on the other side because I want to talk a little bit guys about those plastic around the, the edges of the car those plastic are very very useful because they protect the paint of the car in time from scratch from little stones and stuff like that so every time you see this on the car you have to think practically because those are practical and those they will save you a lot of money in time so if you hold the car a lot of time even down there you can see it's a lot of plastic because of that they want to make it practical they want to make it uh, very usable like daily usable car and not rust in in a few years so you will the car will last much longer with those plastic around the wheels because the paint of the car will be much protected and you don't have if you scratch the car around here for example you don't have to paint again all the car so you just change this plastics and then it's it's ready it's a new car so yeah just keep this in mind uh, that's why they are super practical um, yeah again here on the side we have the hybrid uh, 4 logo then we have the same uh, design of the chrome design here on the side uh, the mirrors I think you already uh, see it before I will show you also a little bit later the mirrors but before that let's go in the front in the front the same six parking sensors you can see the first one third one and so on six parking sensors in the front uh, also here in the front we have some chrome design we have LED light on the uh, fog lamps and full LED light also here on the um, high bin low bin uh, LED light daylight and stuff like that I will show you also a little bit later if you look closely there you can see also the signature from Peugeot full LED light LED technology so that's the latest technology from Peugeot just keep in mind uh, yeah that you have the latest technology and also in the night it's working just perfectly I will show you also a little bit later the light but before that look at the the grill guys chrome design beautiful grill lion in the middle nice nice design to the grill so it's it's just very similar with uh, the normal it's nothing different there than the normal uh, 3008 now here we have some kind of a grill nice design as well here the air come a little bit inside here I don't know if you can see it my finger come inside also the air come inside there to cool down a little bit the, the brakes now here we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that cool safety um, features that come with the car so the adaptive cruise control if you didn't see my review guys with my test drive with the car check it out there I, I test a little bit the adaptive cruise control and the uh, 
and it's working perfect also the lane assist working perfect uh, speaking about the lane assist this camera right here you can see it there that camera there it's working it's helping the lane assist and also reading the traffic speed limit and stuff like that also the raining sensors is there um, the hood of the car also nice lines nice design pretty beautiful um, it looks pretty nice the car if you look from from this angle look at the lines they look super nice and also the front of the car look pretty good pretty pretty good the design of the car it's quite beautiful I don't know about you but I like the way they design it and also up here the roof the extra roof you can add some extra luggage up there so uh, I think we are finished with the exterior of the car show you the rims I show you almost everything now I want to show you the engine bay let me open the engine bay let's go to the engine let me show you the engine here usually it's very easy to open those uh, at Peugeot let me see where is that button should be around here or is down I don't know. I'm not sure I don't remember where was that come on ah here guys here is the button usually it was here on the right side usually it was on the left side but now it's on the right side but it's very easy to use it it's just the button right here anyway you have a manual lift gate here in the front is not automatic but um, this is the engine bay and here are here is the 1.6 liter petrol engine with the electric motor it's under there somewhere i think i don't know if you can see it but anyway it's under there also the 12 volt battery is here the fuse box is here on the right side and all all that liquid cooling and wipers and stuff like that so yeah now that we see the engine we are almost done with the exterior of the car so let's go inside and let me show you the uh, the trunk and yeah let me close also this door let me go in the trunk now as you see before guys in the trunk oh no I forget something the lights how can I forget the lights guys I want to show you the light let me show you the lights and we will start with the back and here you can see right now the car come with uh, LED lights tail light they look nice and a little bit down here we have the uh, blinkers and I don't understand why they are bulb this is normal bulb light and I think here by the reverse light it's also um, bulb light and I was really 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 into LED lights they doesn't look so bad they look nice but I wish they were LED light they are LED by the tail light but by the, the blinkers the turning signal they are not so yeah just something to keep in mind also um, yeah, they are not bad but yeah it's just a thing of preference I was expected to be LED like it is right here on the mirror you can see we have full LED light on the blinkers on the mirror here so you can see it from here better uh, LED light also on the mirror you have the blind spot technology right here in the corner I think you can see it right there yes and big mirrors great visibility uh, w when I drive the car it's, it's it's just perfect visibility also you have an LED light here to illuminate the floor in the night so that's another cool stuff to keep in mind and yeah going forward in the front we have of course LED light on the turning signals uh, yeah the flickering it's because of the camera but in real you will not see that flickering there so just uh, remember that anyway the daylight look nice and the turning signal are following turning signals pretty interesting so you can see they go to the right side so pretty awesome and also the lights inside there it's full LED lights everything is full LED in the front so pretty awesome only in the back uh, they can maybe improve a little bit more 
those tail light and the, the blinkers I'm not sure if you can take it as an option I don't know if you have this option to buy the the LED light also the full LED also in the back but anyway let me close it and let me go inside to show you let me go in the trunk to show you the rest of the car so going in the trunk as you see before we have electric lift gate in the back pretty awesome the entrance in the car in the trunk it's huge I mean it is so much space here you can you can fill in a lot of stuff it's a huge huge space amazing space up here you have the buttons to to close uh, the door and also here you have the possibility to open the trunk with your with your legs so for example if you do something like that they should be open up or close up or I'm not sure where is this maybe there anyway anywhere there i think you have to turn it on so you can see the light it's on and then you use your legs and then it should work or maybe only for opening up or maybe only when you when you open up the car it should work but anyway let's go forward um here you have the triangle usually should be here and then you have those handles to close it manually if you want but other than that pretty clean design and nice and it is a huge entrance here in the trunk also i like the fact that you have a flat floor here so you can see it it's pretty good space flat floor that's good led light 12 volt port awesome uh, those handles to fold down the seats in the front then going forward we have hooks in the corners almost everywhere here you can fold down the seats in the front as well that's awesome i like also this look at this aluminium nice handle super nice design and super great quality and here you have plenty of space well i didn't expect that to have more space down here but you still have 10 centimeter deepness here so it's pretty deep i like that it's impressive for an uh, for an hybrid car and under there is the battery and not the bad the tank anyway the petrol tank it's under there but you still have 10 centimeter deepness so that's that's a good thing uh, other than that i want to take this out and i want to show you how it's with its uh, trunk protection all right i just take it out and now look at this look at the entrance in the car look how big it is now you can see the trunk much better so pretty big huh for a hybrid for a hybrid car it's a pretty big space with three uh, motors it's it's quite impressive to be honest really really big uh, anyway another cool stuff you can carry long items without any problem here you can fold that middle part and you can carry without any problem long items right there so that's that's another cool stuff um, now guys folding the front seats it's also very easily you have to press this button or you have the option to pull this button like like that and then they will fold down in the front so let me let me adjust it a little bit there because oh yeah this seats it's way way in the back I don't know someone was here and they just leave the seats too much in the back so this is manually adjustable seat so only the i think this is the yeah the lumbar part you can you can adjust it manually and here uh also the 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 the, the, the you can fold this down all the way down by the way i, I, I don't want to forget that here you have isofix for kids keep in mind that you can install the isofix also in the front here and not only that you can install isofix for kids but from this handle here you can pull it like that and guys look at this i will need two hands look at this crazy thing you can fold this all the way down so you can push it even more down there just like that so anyway you can fold down the front seat and then you fold down all those back seats also the the headrest here let me adjust this headrest for a second okay i just adjust the headrest this you can take it on the side and then you can fold this all the way down but you have to put the headrest a little bit in the front but guys keep in mind something 
this one here should go even down more I don't know usually it's go a little bit more down to be honest but going in the back here and look at the space I don't know how many cars are able to fall down even the front seat there and look how much space you have here it's just crazy 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 how much space you have in the car and the the the, the, the um, seats there are almost flat they are not flat but I think you can figure it out how to make it a little bit more uh, down they are almost flat so look at the space amazing space also the car come with a glass roof I will show you later uh, stay with me and you will see it a little bit later also the visibility it's perfect I mean it comes a lot of light a lot of brightness inside the car and it's fabulous the feeling the seats and everything it's great I think this is one of my favorite SUVs in 2020 to be honest for what this car can offer and for the price tag and the quality it's amazing and the space the practicality of this car it's it's fabulous just fabulous look at this look at this from this side also pretty impressive guys really really impressive and down here on the legs you still have some space there and the fact that you don't have any any bump there in the middle the transmission tunnel it's almost zero so it's no transmission tunnel everything is straight up it's a fantastic plus for the car not many cars have that it's like electric car so keep this in mind again amazing amazing stuff uh, that you are able to do with this car now folding this back again i need two hands here super 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 not easy to fold it back but just like that keep in mind that you are able to fold it down the other seat there it's electrically adjustable full but this one is manually so if you want to go in front you have to pull it here and push it again so let me do it myself you always need like two hands here it's not so easy but also you can adjust this front part keep in mind it's super easy to adjust the front part front back it's it's mega mega easy so oh, cool now that we are finished with that sit in the front let's go in the back now also right now you can see the space uh, with the seat in the front folding up so you can see that you still have huge huge space here a lot of space in the trunk also in this position so now let's put everything back in the position and then we will uh, continuing so all you have to do is just push it back no problem also I will have to go on the other side uh, and also I will have to install this trunk protection let me do it and then we will continue all right perfect just let me close the trunk as you see before and let me go inside now let's go inside guys before going inside i want to start with the door and i want to show you that you have a big one piece door that means you should have a great visibility from the interior we will see in the moment now here you have a nice trim you can see the trim look gorgeous but here you have plastic in the back door right here on this side but you don't know what it is until you touch it so yeah maybe it's soft maybe not uh, and here you have Alcantara this is gorgeous I mean this white Alcantara I don't know how they do it but it looks so nice so nice so nice so nice here soft material handle feel good some chrome design insertion speaker speaker two speakers here then we have leather all over here normal leather so you can see that's leather here stitches look beautiful electric adjustable windows plenty of storage space here and the door have quite good quality in my in my opinion it's just perfect where the arm is resting it's just perfect now the entrance pretty easy to enter inside the car even for kids um, that's great no bump in the middle no uh, where is the transmission tunnel it's nothing there so that's great I like that um, and then going to the seats one of my favorite part those are one of my favorite seats guys they look fabulous you have this combination of Alcantara with leather so 
they are they are gorgeous so you can see even the headrest here it's alcantara and you have the leather look beautiful uh, also you have isofix for kids and even in the front you see it before then look at the trim look at the design it's, it's super beautiful also you have normal leather here on the side side support awesome seats in my opinion they, they, they are great the seats are phenomenal in the middle here also you can have two cup holders you can fold this down you see it before so you can carry long items from the trunk close it very simple it's back in the position also you have a beautiful glass roof here but let me open it up first time for you guys let me go inside here press this button and turn on the car come on e-cockpit from Peugeot it's amazing this new e-cockpit it's it's one of the best on the market guys just keep in mind now uh, great I think this should work here you have two buttons one you open it all so the air come in and one you open only this one here so let me push it two times and you can see you have a phenomenal glass roof beautiful glass roof so huge man it's impressive I like that and also you can open this up you need more air you can choose more position oh the Sun come inside so this is the position you have it here you have it pretty cool huh? anyway I want to close this because the Sun come inside and it's not so fun to have all that Sun on on you and I think this window it's also good for Sun because the, the the light the heat doesn't come inside so easy so that's a great thing so those are the buttons very simple to use LED light also up here guys just keep in mind then you have the SOS button service button and the uh, here you have all that LED lights for the uh, seat belt uh, the mirror look gorgeous gorgeous mirror look how beautiful it is really nice tiny edges it's gorgeous the mirror it's just fabulous i love the mirror i like the visibility in the back but for now let me close the engine and let me go back to show you the rest in the back and then we will go in the front as well but we were here yeah so look at the glass roof it's awesome it's come all over through the back so pretty pretty awesome yeah let's go forward up here we have led lights again for the passengers in the back so yeah that's very useful as well and also um, that I'm here let me close the door oh great quality and here 12 volt port for the passengers nice fans here a uh, small space to put your stuff and down there I'm really curious what is there and I think I know I think it's a 200 20 volt outlet where you can charge your laptop or yeah 120 volt you can charge your laptop or wherever you want to charge it you can do it there so no USB in the back I was expected to have an USB in the back but I guess it's okay because they are in the front I will show you when I go there now let's see the space in the back this is in my driving position kind of I can put it a little bit more in the front but I think it's it's okay for now to to see the space so the space on my legs it's quite big here I mean plenty of space even if I put the seat more in the back it's plenty of space I like the fact that I can stretch my legs under the front seat you can see that that's a good thing I like that plenty of space on my legs now the head space it is good also you can adjust this headrest the way you want it and the head space four fingers I have exactly four fingers up here and yeah it's no bad I can go a little bit in the front and I have a great position right now position leather here on my hand everything feel perfect super comfy I have a handle here I have a hook if I drive if you drive too much off-road you can hold it also good quality on the roof here great quality I like the way it feels and the visibility on the windows as I told you I have a window there and here it's pretty big I have great great visibility on the window so 
no problem, no complaining about visibility. Um, I see better visibility on other cars. Um, I think also one from Peugeot, if I'm not wrong, I think the Peugeot 508 has a great visibility also, but this is, this is one of the best, so I'm just saying. Uh, in the middle you have a little bit less, maybe three and a half finger for maybe fast and the legs room it's still good so no problem with the leg room and the fact that you can also put your legs together it's a great great thing that you don't have any transmission down there so for free people here should be fine i stretch my hand in the left stretch my hand in the right great space even for free people long trips no problem it's it's a great space here and also the 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 feeling here it's it's pretty good now the visibility not only the feeling it's gorgeous on this glass roof it's gorgeous visibility beautiful also we will go in the front and i try to show you um the dashboard pretty nice layout i like the dashboard i like the futuristic design peugeot makes some beautiful designs here you have also this armrest leather armrest nice stitches on the side very soft uh, then you have that automatic gear shifter and yeah anyway we will go in the front now and i will show you the rest all right now let's go in the front open the door big windows one pieces i like that uh, it's a great visibility. I, I drive the car and it's, it's gorgeous visibility on the windows. We have soft materials this time on the front door, not like in the back. So everywhere here it's soft material. Then it comes this Alcantara all over here. Beautiful quality. Then leather down here. You can see also the stitches, handle. Um, and then we have those uh, buttons for the electric windows lock unlock the electric windows electric adjustable mirror as well the buttons are there plenty of space in the door bands here and we have the speaker right here um, yeah so the quality it's it's better than in the back so that's something to keep in mind now going inside the car it looks gorgeous I like this entrance you have this Peugeot logo here and then you have the aluminum pedals there pretty awesome um, and then guys you have this the seats it's fully electrically adjustable so you can adjust the seats from here without any problem even the lumbar part you can save the position you have two saving position pretty pretty awesome so that's that's pretty cool I like that. I'm not sure if this button is for the massage or something like that. Maybe it's the massage. I don't know. If you know, guys, what is this button? Tell me, please. I don't know what it is, but I will try it. Anyway, uh, also, the same great quality as in the back. Same great design. Beautiful design. I, I'm, I'm in love with those seats. I think they are one of my favorite because I like Alcantara. I love to see Alcantara in the cars. And when I see Alcantara in white, oh, white is my favorite color, so white Alcantara, gorgeous um, leather on the side, and even here the design, it's, it's phenomenal. I like those triangles, the way they do it. We have side support for sporty driving, and they are also uh, very s nice and stiff for long trips driving. You don't have any back paint or stuff like that, uh, back pain. And then you can adjust even the front part here. Pretty awesome. I love the design. I love the seats. I don't know about you, but I like the way they do it. And yeah, they do it in a big way. I like them. Yeah, anyway, let's go forward, guys. Now, here we have a small space, storage space. Up here we have the button for the lane assist. You can open up the, um, the gas tank uh, and door and here you can um, how you say you can um, schedule the climatic system I think and then going forward we have soft material all over the dashboard that's another cool stuff to keep in mind all over the dash it's it's soft material then we have here the vents easy to adjust up down left right pretty awesome um, then you have here the cruise control button 
uh, an adjustment so you can adjust the cruise control very simple from here uh, it's very easy to use behind the steering wheel and then yeah i guess let's go inside the car and let's actually let's close the door and i want to show you how cool they they manage to do this layout so the doors and the dashboard it's together it look gorgeous i mean the way they integrate together it's look fantastic soft material everywhere here on the dash nice stitches here the vents there it's in the perfect position we have alcantara insertion here on the dash everywhere on the dash down here it's alcantara so it looks gorgeous in combination um here i think it's it's perfect also here it's soft material soft material here it's also soft material even down here on the glow box the glow box it's pretty big look at that really big uh, also you have the airbag on off there pretty big glow box and i like the way they design that they come from glow box like here in the center console some chrome design chrome also here on the buttons where you have all those buttons for the here's the the button for the electric so every time you touch this button i will show you in a moment you will see the application the new application electric application there um, then you have the buttons for the the media the climatic system navigation car and stuff like that i will show you also later and down here you have the buttons for the climatic system you have you have kind of a touch screen you have kind of a button down here so you can lock so it's quite awesome and also this button is good quality anyway great quality look gorgeous the center armrest as i told you very nice and soft you can open it up like that you have huge space here so you can customize the way you want it you can take this out for example and whoa 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 i have a huge space look at this half of my hand it's inside there really really it's super huge i'm quite impressed i'm quite impressed with this so i think it's one of the biggest glow box i ever seen and i think you can put it in more position this one here you can install it like that yes of course Whew pretty big i like that this is a plus for the car then you have the ambient light here you can see in the in the cup holders and if i'm not wrong uh this is blue and it looks beautiful beautiful in the night then going forward here uh we have some plastic but it feels nice i don't know i'm not sure no no it's not plastic it's the same as here on the dashboard you know it's kind of a rubber very nice hard rubber i like that very much Ooh, pretty cool i really like it i really like the way it feels i wish i can see on all the cars this kind of material this kind of rubber so you can see when you push it it's soft and it feels gorgeous i think this is the future they have to add it also in the place where there are plastic i think they have to add this nice great job i like that glossy plastic here on the center console look beautiful we have the stick the gear shifter pretty easy to change the gear shifter i like the the chrome design around here looks super premium and nice electronic handbrake this is helping you when you go downhill then you have the driving selection mode you will see it in the moment some big space here where you can put your key or something like that the start stop engine button and then we have a big space here where you can charge your phone wireless check this out so you can charge your phone wireless down there and also you have a 12 volt port and a an usb port so ooh, pretty cool i like that i like the space there pretty awesome it's very practical then going forward guys uh we have the steering wheel we have the GT logo right here on the steering wheel. Beautiful uh, quality leather stitches. You can see the stitches right here. Great, great quality. Then you have the controllers right here for the display. I will show you also later, a little bit later. So actually, let me 
turn it on right now then on here you can control the multimedia system and all that phone stuff and other than that great grip fantastic steering wheel i like also the chrome design the way they design it here they, they try to to work on every details the little holes the grip it's phenomenal the, the steering wheel is one of the best on the market and it's easy to use for everybody now we have pedals to change the gear manually here in the back the pedals are there so pretty awesome now the visibility around the windows it's also gorgeous gorgeous visibility i drive the car and look how big is the mirror look how big is the window and you have a fantastic position of driving have great visibility in the mirrors you have great visibility around the windows and even in the back there you can see you don't have any blind spot so great great visibility and also the seats and the interior look fabulous in my opinion it looked gorgeous and even from here from driver's side look at the visibility it's fantastic even there on the on the multimedia system even here the cockpit it's in perfect position all you have to do watch there and here just like that you don't have to move your head in other direction it's it's perfectly there you don't have any, you don't need any head-up display or stuff like that now um yeah i think i show you almost everything now I want to go to the cockpit also by the way you can adjust the steering wheel the way you want it from down here manually yeah just keep in mind you can put it in every position you want so you should have a great visibility cockpit so like I have right now uh, by the way I want to point out something those seats are fabulous I mean when you drive on those seats they are super comfy um, I have side support I feel really good on those seats this is something that I want to point out those are one of my favorite seats and um, this in this car the way I can adjust the seats in every position very easy and the fact that I have great visibility around the windows and the way they design the dashboard it's it's make it one of my favorite favorite driving position to say like that so yeah keep in mind this as well but let's go forward let me show you the the e-cockpit from Peugeot the new one it looks fabulous it have nice colors nice resolution it's one of the best uh, out there so let me show you how can you customize it so you can choice and customize the way you want it you can choice minimal so you can have minimal on the screen uh, the resolution and the colors are superb splendid they look gorgeous anyway here you can see the consumption there on the right side and uh, how many kilometers you did drive and the average speed then you can have the navigation if you want on the screen um, just simple like that then you can change it to the driving help for example then you have your car in the middle and adaptive cruise control and all that stuff uh, here on the dials you have the dials here on the side left right thermometer kind of speedometer uh, and thermometer on the right side and then you have the energy this is the new the energy this is the new from Peugeot this is a nice graphic that show you every time the car it's regenerate the energy in the battery or uh, taking out the battery which motor working the motor in the back in the front or the petrol engine so yeah by the way i promise i tell you when i was outside so the car come with an electric motor in the back electric motor in the front and the petrol motor in the front as well so 110 horsepower 100 and to 100 and something i don't remember but together make 300 horsepower just keep in mind and the battery it's in the middle i mean the battery are under the seats right there good great now uh let's go forward so that's the screen the new screen where you can see the graphics then oh by the way on the graphics here on the right side you have the charging so you will see a line that go up and down when the line go down when you break uh, the battery will recharge the energy when you accelerate then you will see in which way you're driving so you have a nice nice uh, design right there in the front so you can choose the way you want to see it uh, minimal you see it before so i think all the rest you already see it now uh, the cockpit it's awesome it's very easy to control it from here all you have to do 
play on the steering wheel just a little bit with this stick and then it will go directly where you want you have a great visibility from here you have also the uh, traffic speed limit signs because it's a camera here I show you before that can read the traffic speed limit so it's awesome to be able to see that also there you can see how much gas you still have and here you can see uh, how much let me zoom in how much battery you still have so you can drive I can still drive 40 kilometer only in the electric mode and there are 460 kilometer only with petrol so together will be more so pretty awesome again now let's go forward in the middle as I told you this button right here if you press this button here it will get you directly here for example let's go to media and then if you press this button it will get you directly to the application this is kind of the electric application from Peugeot and you find it also on the electric cars and also on all the hybrid cars that Peugeot made and here you see also in which driving mode you are and you see the energy flow where the energy go up and down and stuff like that I will try to show you as well and if you change from here from the driving mode yeah you can change the driving mode so every time you change the driving mode for example oh, but I have to start the car let me start it all right now the car is starting so you can change from here you can see it's in electric mode that way you can see right there on the screen you can choose electric mode hybrid mode in electric mode it will work only the the, the electric engine from the back in the hybrid mode will work all together all the three engines and then in the sport mode the same all they will give you the best power in sport mode they will work uh, at full power in the hybrid they will try to drive economical and they will work not in the same time all only in the sport mode it will draw it will work all in the same time and you have also the four wheel drive in which you have four wheel drive and then you can drive off road and the, the engines and the motors will work together to give you the best experience off road now here you have these statistics as well the consumption you can see the consumption on the last trips and stuff like that here is the charging you can schedule the charging and then you have the e-save here um, so you can see without any problem um, all that information about the, the car and about the electricity and stuff like that the way they work now going forward here you have the shortcut button I go through all of them media then you go to the climatic system you can turn it on from here just like that it's on one and you can choose the the speed and you can choose everything you want very simply you can go to navigation here press the navigation navigation also it's one of the best outside uh, you can use that touch screen and you can set it up very easily to get you wherever you want to get and also you have a great visibility from the driver point of view so now going to the car here it's more interesting because here you have a lot of options guys also you have this setting up here where you can go to the um, sound here you have the sound system and stuff like that so you can adjust all that stuff you can go to option here and here you can change the language for example let me show you if you go to English press the English and then you have all the navigation it's in English right now so you have all that uh, system settings and stuff like that you can choose kilometer miles Fahrenheit Celsius you have all that options to, to change the settings instrument panel you can customize from here screen blah 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 and all that settings here audio you already see it let's go back to to car and here you can you can choose the settings blind spot technology you can turn it on and off parking sensors on off traction control uh, and all that stuff you can play with it safety here uh, emergency brake and all that um, other cool come on zoom in what's wrong okay good now going back then you have the headlamps you can customize the way you want it I don't want to take too much time but the wipers the mirrors the way you want to choose the lights the door lock and stuff like that you have all the options right here on the screen then you have the phone going to the phone you can connect your phone 
uh, to Bluetooth. Then you have the application, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and all that application without any problem you can use it. So uh, yeah, that was, I guess that was the multimedia system. I don't wanna make it too long. I have a full review about it. Check it out on my channel if you wanna see it. It's working perfectly and I love it. And yeah, it's kind of a big screen. It's nice integrated in the dashboard there. I think it's just perfect the way they, they, they did it. So uh, pretty awesome. Also, I like the steering wheel. It's super easy to use and super soft. That's something to keep in mind. Only when you go in sport mode, it's a little bit stiffer, but uh, great, great design of the car. Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm finished with the car, guys. Um, I think you just made an idea about the car. I hope you enjoy the review with the new 3008 plug-in hybrid for a GT and I, I hope the review was really helpful for you guys. Uh, to give you some of my impression, I think the price uh, and what the car offer, I think it's a great price. I think you have a lot of premium stuff inside this car that you find it on the high-end premium cars for example Alcantara almost almost everywhere I mean you have it on the door you have it in the back door you have it on the dashboard right here um, you have it on the seat a lot of leather the steering wheel it's great here even here you have leather and soft material on the dashboard uh, you have a hybrid car free motors in this price 300 horsepower a lot of power check out the test drive if you didn't see it yet it's amazing the suspension are great the, the handling the feeling the visibility from here it's awesome the comfort is great mirror it's nice gorgeous um, glass roof great quality here a lot of space in the back you can fold down even the front seat you can have ease fix in the front and oh, okay I like the car. I think it's a great SUV and it should be in the first three, in top three SUVs in this class. Uh, not bad. Peugeot did a great job in 2020. Whoo, Peugeot, it's killing it. I think they should be in the top for sure. For sure. I know there are a lot of car manufacturers and a lot of great cars outside there, but Peugeot did a great job so very well really appreciate that nice design great interior a lot of new feature safety feature also the car can lane assist pretty good the adaptive cruise control work really good and yeah if you want to buy this car <clears throat> what can i say just go for it because it totally deserve it and guys i hope you really enjoy the video if you want to see more of those kind of videos subscribe to my channel um, check out my other videos I have plenty of videos on my channel it will mean a lot for me if you subscribe that will help me make more videos like that and uh, much better more quality and I will have more time for them so thank you again for like it share it and subscribing so thank you for watching um, I guess I see you in the next one bye guys <laughs>